So I have this string of pearls growing in this container and if you have seen my previous video, you know, I grew this from one string and now so many strings have been growing and you can see some of the strings have you know, multiple strings coming from there. So, and this is uh, sitting inside on my east facing window sill and I notice that it has some powdery thing you know at many places so either it is you know mealybug or it's uh, fungus developing here so i want to uh, clean it up so the first thing that i'm going to try is uh, to use hydrogen peroxide on this so i have you know uh, water in this bowl small bowl and i'll put a few drops of hydrogen peroxide in this and then basically wash these in this solution so hydrogen peroxide basically kills the bacteria I'm going to try the second one. I can see some black things floating around here, but it could be, you know, just dirt. I don't know. And it's so delicate, it's hard to handle it. And now for some of these, you know, which are, I mean, I can't get to it um, that way. I'm just going to use a Q-tip. To take that stuff out. And I'm dipping the Q-tip in the hydrogen peroxide solution. Yeah. This is probably mealybug. Yeah, here you see. It's like cotton like uh, thing. Yeah, look at this one. It's tedious work, but if you have to save your plant, you have to do it. If it was a big plant, uh, you know, and if it has this thing in one or two strands, then maybe you can just cut off that portion and you'll be fine. But in a small plant, you know, you can't just cut off one strand because then you have probably nothing left. So now we have pretty much cleaned all the strands and hopefully they'll be okay. So I'll, I mean at least those cotton like things we have removed and we have washed all these strands with hydrogen peroxide solution and you can see if you look at this there's a lot of stuff in here. It could be dirt also. I'm not saying that th these are bugs or anything. Uh, so uh, I'll put it back where it was and keep you posted how they are doing. So it's been two weeks that we cleaned uh, our string of pearls. And if you look at this now, you know, all the black spots we had on the strings they are gone for sure but the white spots i still see some white spots like here you you can't probably see the big ones are gone 
but I still see, you know, some tiny bit of uh, white spots. So I'm going to clean it once more just to make sure and let's see how it does. But otherwise it's growing well. You know, it has grown even in last two weeks. See, now this is like touching uh, the floor. So it's growing well. So it's been a couple of months that I cleaned these string of pearls and then I cleaned them uh, two more times with diluted hydrogen peroxide and it seems to be doing fine. I think what happens is that when your uh, succulents are sitting inside and then they don't get a lot of sun, they develop those mealybugs or uh, fungus. So now what I did was that I moved this on my south facing windowsill where it gets a lot of direct sunlight. Although, you know, the effect of that is that you can see that some of these uh, leaves, they are kind of burnt. But that's okay. You know, look at the growth, you know, how much they are growing. This problem of fungus or mealybugs is pretty common and you have to just control it. Uh, you can uh, use hydrogen peroxide uh, or you can try, you know, rubbing alcohol or even neem oil, you know, all three should work fine. And just uh, give them a lot of sun if you can, you know, at least indirect sun and uh, they just keep growing. And also because uh, sometimes it is hard to clean these uh, because they are normally uh, at the place from where this leaf is attached to uh, the stem. So you just remove the leaf and then clean it because, you know, if in a long string, you know, few leaves are gone, it doesn't really matter that much. So maybe that's what you want to do. Otherwise, you know, it's just doing great. Now I'm going to prune them further and then put more strings in here and it will become even denser. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.